time no see. That's right. I Man. think I remember how to do this. Fella needs some nip -X or toolboxes. We got them. You got them. We thought we'd start the year out right with uh, good sheet metal and some good pliers. So, um, and <laughs> well, we've sold a bunch of, of pliers. Um, definitely got any that a fella could ask for as far as the nipic goes there. Um, that we most commonly see in the automotive. You know, Nipix has got such a big catalog. Oh, it's yeah. probably that thick. But, yeah, man. Um, we've got the most commonly used. Uh, then we got the scrapers up there. We've even got uh, the beanie with the light and the Bluetooth in it. Um, so we're trying to, especially with this cold weather, have everything and anything, whether it be keep you warm or get that job done right. <laughs> Y'all selling some days off? Well, we're not. We're I out need, of stock I need on some those. Of them. <laughs> uh, I need some of those myself after all She's that. She's seen the big mess I got in there. Lord, there's more work than I know what to do with in there. It's bad. <laughs> It's just constant, man. You get it took care of, there'll be something else pop up. I know. You think you'll never see that? Well, I, it's bad because last week I got close to being finished and then more and more and more and more and more come in. I was like, man, you're never going to get done with this junk. <laughs> well. Well, I'm proud you got this on here because people has asked me about my plier rack. Yeah. Um, and okay. like, these are my favorite ones because you can cut them the length you want yeah. and that way it covers the whole drawer. Well, and they have a smaller one, but like you said, it's either going to be too small. Yeah. It's almost never going to be the exact length that you need. But that one there, it, it you know, cut to fit. It's not super tall either. Yeah. Um, Those there are is some, perfect. Yeah, there is some drawers that people want to use that some of them just too tall for that one right there fits pretty mm -hmm. good i mean it's not going to go in the smallest drawer on your toolbox but um i mean i've seen creative ways people did it you know holding mm -hmm. it i've seen people use pvc pipe and everything else to create one just to make it short enough and it's like yeah that that's creative but we had something to you know, <laughs> yeah. we do it so that's but, true those work really good i like them yeah a lot keeps the box nice and organized I saw where you organized yours. It, it looked really good. Then got a trade-in roll cart. That's a good, good-looking box there. I like the size of that cart. It's it's not as long as a regular toolbox. So if you if you don't have room in your shop for just a regular toolbox, or if you want to still be uh, a little bit more mobile than with a regular toolbox, that one right there does it. But you're not sacrificing the room right. to do it. Um, if I wanted to be completely mobile, I'd probably go with a smaller one like this purple one here. But um, man, I'm drooling over that blue. I like that. <laughs> yeah. Um, which this purple, um, they're having some troubles with the manufacturer on getting uh, shades right. So we've got purple on the hold. So uh, if you like purple and your dealer's got one. one grab it while you can because <laughs> they're not doing away with it i mean they they told us you know look we're not doing away with it but we got to get the color they want to make it to where it's consistent so if you buy the 4225 and you want a top hutch two years later they want mm -hmm. to be to where that color is consistent not different shades so yeah. Yeah. let's get it right while we can and, and and i you know i like that idea too but well are these magnets on here or are they wraps that's a wrap that? so for a while, Mako didn't know how to feel about the wraps, um, but they, after seeing some of the distributors do some really awesome designs with the wraps and stuff, they've started offering a few designs as well. Um, and the, the few that they've done in the American flag, I think this is the second or third one they've done. It's been knocked out of the park. It looks really yeah. good. Yeah. Um, and that, the course they've done them in the, um, the Canadian flag or symbol as well um and it's looked really good mm -hmm. so keep doing that and just keep growing right i know some of the distributors have went as far as doing like on the white and black boxes they've done star wars and they've made, there's been some really cool designs out there so well i know i don't know if it was the one if mac does it or maybe michael boone had it done but they had the magnetic strips cut the size yep. of the drawer and then they wrapped it and that way you could take it on or off you know see I, I feel like i've really seen cool. that somewhere too um 
but I can't remember where I seen it at. And I like that idea, just for the the fact of hey, if if I'm gonna change my mind mm -hmm. twice a year, three times a year, um, which <coughs> well, a guy could like if he wanted to, you know, just have it wrapped orange or yeah. blue or whatever, you know, and then swap it out. Well, that's what I was showing her one day. We were we were walking through a parking lot, and uh, I said that car is wrapped, and she said, "Do what?" I said, "That car is wrapped." Yeah. And uh, there used to be one. I don't want to tell the exact colors on it because somebody around here may know what I'm talking about. But um, it was just the ugliest design ever. But he loved it. So, mm -hmm. uh, but he changed it up recently, and it seems like he's changed it since then. He's changed it three or four times. It's a Camaro, but. Um, you can do that a lot more effective than getting something repainted. Uh, and as far as our yeah. toolboxes go, we powder coat, but you, you're not going to want to get your toolbox repainted or powder coated right. two or three times a year. But um, these people that's doing that really good design, and, and that's something Mako used to get, um, like an artist to come in and actually either. Um, I seen that hand when they did the lightning bolt yeah. one. Yeah. Well, in cool. the old days, you know, they did it on the on the boxes too. That uh, mm. they did the spray on and stuff. But that stuff's kind of a dying art, really. Yeah. Um, there's very few people doing it anymore. And then um, for the cost of it, it's kind of hard to keep it because the powder coat's baked on there, so it stays really, really well. But you start getting that paint, you start rubbing up against it and stuff mm -hmm. like that. It's not clear coated over, so you can start rubbing it off. Right. And, but yeah, I, I think my one of my older vehicles, instead of having it painted and everything else i'll just have it wrapped later on mm -hmm. you know just because it's it's an old beat up truck but it needs something to keep it from rusting out and everything but yeah i think a good wrap like company. all the show enough rednecks around here and just spray it with a bed liner well then it don't scratch or nothing yeah i've seen a lot of people do it um with just primer yeah i don't know i mean i i've always said i'm not a body man and i'm definitely not <laughs> but I thought that when I was helping work in a body shop, just trying to learn it, uh, I thought primer was kind of porous and would, would soak mm. that up. So you'd think that water would right. still soak into it. And it, I mean, if you got any Bondo underneath it, that water, I just don't think that's a good idea. But I'm sure they can clear over it if they like the primer yeah. gray look. That so. looks like what Dodge is doing with all their great seen, trucks it I looks see, like they're just like ah we're run out of paint just spray some clear on it yeah well i mean i've seen the people do like the flat black and the, the flat colors it looks like mm -hmm. it ain't got no clear i like that on, yeah. on certain vehicles and stuff but i just i don't know it seems like you're forgetting the step when you when you yeah. just do the primer but hey if that's what you like go for that's it. it well what cool tools you got today uh well i wanted to talk about one that a customer actually showed me um and I, I haven't seen it through Mako, but I, I wanted to show it off anyway. Okay. Because uh, I think it's the coolest tool ever. I've been showing everybody. So it's like an impact driver. I mean, it, it is an impact driver, right? But instead of hitting it with a hammer, right. you pull the spring back. Mm -hmm. And you wouldn't believe it, but pulling that spring pack back creates over 5,000 PSI of force there. Right. So with it being smaller than your typical impact driver and mm -hmm. not having to have that hammer and swing if you're in a tight area or something, that helps you out a lot. But also when you're doing like the rotors and stuff, you can really hold this up there with a good amount of force because you're not worried about hitting your hand. Right. Uh, and that's one of the things with the other one, if you're not paying a good attention yeah, and somebody it. talks to you real quick or something, <laughs> you're liable to hit that hand. Yeah. Um, but I, I really like the way that that's done. I've uh, been showing a lot of people this just because of that which it comes with this extra spring here too but uh, and comes with the bits and stuff it's got a good selection of bits there put a quarter inch bit in it and do it with the sockets and stuff like that so if you've got a rusted um, uh, bolt or something that you're trying to get out I just I feel like this is going to be because there's some times where you, where you have that rusted bolt or something but you can't get a hammer in there yeah. I like the small design of that and it just seems like it's just it's gonna be something that takes off when it does it. So mm -hmm. that's the cool tool that I've been showing everybody this week. Just, you know, I, I've said from the very beginning, I like tools, so I don't right. care who makes it. If it's a cool tool I, and I like it, I'm gonna talk about it. So this one there, one that there, which we're also showing the motorcycle set um, that Maco has, because I have a couple of motorcycle shops on my 
my route, so that's been real popular. It gives them the, the most popular uh, sizes. Right. So. That's pretty cool. But well, I say they've come back out with more blue. They have. I've got mine on order. Um, I've got my screwdrivers coming. I know some other distributors and stuff had them uh, a little earlier, uh, but we're supposed to be having ours. Should be, well, I say should be. With Nashville getting hit with all that snow, we, we are going to be delayed on some of the stuff coming out of the Nashville, this yeah. D.C., just because UPS said they weren't going to be able to ship orders uh, past 10 o'clock yesterday. So. I know they got hammered up there. Holy cow. It seems it like rough. they've got hammered twice. You know, when we got that unusual snow for us, mm -hmm. January 1, which I don't think I've ever seen, um, they got hit hard then. You know, we, we saw enough snow to let the kids play, you know. They saw enough to cause road problems and everything else. And then they were just getting over it, and then they got hit again. So to all the distributors and, and customers up in Tennessee, just be careful. Um, which I haven't been on the truck, but uh, my heart goes out to all the Kentucky people as well and Arkansas right. and stuff with the storms there. It seems like every year around Christmas, some kind of major storm happens and, and it just, it knocks you back down to reality that, you know, yeah, we're, we're in control of our lives, but we ain't in control of everything, right? So, mm -hmm. but um, we hope to have the blue in um, before the end of next week. And then I'm hoping we're actually going to Expo the beginning of February, hoping to see you know some pretty cool things there. I've, I've got some hints um, on some diagnostic stuff that's going to be there. That, right. that sounds pretty cool, so I'm hoping to confirm that when I go. And then um, I don't know. There's some other rumors about some stuff, but I just want to get there and see what's going on. But cool. Want to be some good stuff. There usually is, so I want to I like the good stuff. But it's good as long as you got the money to buy it, right? Well, and that's the thing. You gotta gotta have the money to buy it. So, <laughs> but <clears throat> well, all right, guys. So if y'all need Nipex and you're on Michael's route, there you go. You know where definitely, to get them. Definitely got plenty of. Got Nipex. plenty of. <laughs> He's got enough for uh, each one of your pockets and one in each hand. So, <clears throat> like I say, you got the money. There you go. <laughs> All right, guys, like always, thanks for hanging out. If you liked the video, hit that thumbs up. Check over here for merchandise, cool tools, and discount codes are down here in the description. If you're not subscribed, click that button. Y'all have a great week. See ya.